Former President Donald Trump spoke to reporters from his golf club in New Jersey yesterday. He was expected to speak about the economy, but he spent much of the time attacking Harris over immigration and energy policies. He also claimed that he is, quote, entitled to personal attacks against Harris. CBS News campaign reporter Torian Small joining me now to talk a little bit more about what he had to say. So, Torian, uh, Trump continues to level attacks against Biden and Harris's economic and immigration policies. I presume that he believes that these are probably the weakest areas for the Biden administration. Right, and that's been a part of his key messaging on the trail. We've seen uh, Trump and uh, J.D. Vance, his running mate, uh, look to tether Kamala Harris to the border, calling her a border czar, when we know that she was actually tasked with looking to address the key central issues with the surge in immigration, illegal crossings at the border, by doing some diplomacy through other countries. Uh, but they're also looking at the economy, just like what Hunter mentioned in his conversation with you. A lot of voters tend to have this idea or feeling that they were doing better economically under a Trump administration compared to a Joe Biden administration. Administration. This, as we're seeing, of course, inflation start to cool, but that necessarily hasn't caught up to voters' feelings yet. Now, uh, since the attempted assassination uh, of President uh, Trump, the Secret Service, or uh, former President Trump, the Secret Service has stopped him from doing outdoor events. Now we're hearing that he may be able to resume those rallies. What's going on? Yeah, this is according to two law enforcement officials uh, to CBS. They said that uh, the Secret Service is looking to develop this bulletproof glassing uh, at the podium so Trump can resume. We don't necessarily have a timeline on when that could happen, but we know that that is in the works. This also, as the uh, Department of Homeland Security is looking to uh, streamline and develop this communication channels between the Secret Service and federal and local law enforcement, so communication continue to go forward. This, of course, happened happens or comes after the July 13th attempt, assassination attempt on Donald Trump's life. Of course, he survived, but Donald Trump himself has expressed interest in going back to resuming these outdoor rallies. He, in a post and at the end of that month, said that he wants to go back outside to prove that, you know, he is fit and he's up. He's not afraid of these assassination attempts, but of course, security and safety is uh, the priority by his detail. Of course, Torian, thank you.